from Indy Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm Mark Mullins with a look at your top stories. Testimony will continue in the case against the man accused of killing Delphi teens Abby Williams and Libby German. On Monday, the prosecution showed more than 40 crime scene photos, some of which visibly shook the jurors and other inside the Carroll County Courthouse. They also heard from the first police officer on the scene and three crime scene detectives. Court resumes at 9 o'clock this morning. State police say an Avon man was killed during an officer involved shooting in Dearborn, Dearborn County on Saturday. When officers arrived at the Hollywood Hotel and Casino, Milo Karsh was reportedly firing a gun on the hotel's fourth floor. Lawrenceburg officers gave orders for Karsh to drop the gun and he began shooting. Officers returned fire. Karsh died at the scene. Indy's next up and coming neighborhood might be the near north side. Some of the largest institutions in the city are investing in it through a new nonprofit organization. The Indy Health District officially launched on Monday. It hopes to improve the neighborhoods along the Indigo Red and Purple lines from the North Split to Fall Creek. The Pacers are ready to run it back. Most of last year's team returns to follow up their run to the Eastern Conference Finals. The Blue and Gold will play the Pistons in Detroit tomorrow night. Todd. All right, temperatures today, Mark, once again, well above normal as we climb close to 80 degrees. In fact, some of you, especially in western locations, Terre Haute, Petersburg, uh, Rockville, Lafayette, you'll have the potential to get to 80 degrees. As we work our way throughout the day today, a front's going to approach. All the rain will fizzle out, but you'll notice the winds kick up a little bit throughout the day today, and it'll be a little bit breezy. And then tomorrow, as the front goes through the area, there'll be a little band of cloud cover, and there'll be several fronts over the next couple days that'll help to Bring our temperatures back closer to more seasonable levels. Levels we're in the 60s here this evening, and then overnight tonight, temperatures in the 50s. Tomorrow we're into the 70s, but once that front goes through, high temperatures on a Thursday will return to the mid 60s.